what are the different table types in Snowflake. All the data in Snowflake is stored in database tables and logically structured as collection of rows and columns because end of the day it's a database. To get the maximum benefit of Snowflake tables, it's better to understand the physical structure behind the logical structure, especially for the huge tables which is holding our enterprise data. There are four types of tables which can be created in Snowflake. First one is the permanent. It is the regular database table which consumes space, time travel and fail safe period can be enabled. All tables in Snowflake by default are micro partitioned, compressed, encrypted and stored in columnar format. Permanent tables are designed for data that requires the highest level of data protection and recovery. These tables persist until they are specifically dropped. The other set of table is temporary. A temporary table is used for storing non-permanent transitory data, example, ETL data like this session specific data. Temporary tables only exist within the session in which they were created and persist only for the remainder of that session. As such, they are not visible to other users or sessions. So once the session ends, data stored in these temporary tables is purged completely from the system and therefore is non-recoverable. That non-recoverable is both by the user who created the table or by the administrator or Snowflake itself. If you created a temporary table and you've logged out of the session or your session times out, you lose the data. Even the admin or the Snowflake database administrator cannot retrieve it. So the advantage is the temporary tables stay only for that session. Disadvantages, they are not recoverable in case you want it for any further use in the future. The third type of tables are the transient tables. Now Snowflake supports creating transient tables that persist until explicitly dropped and are available to all users with the appropriate privileges. Transient tables are similar to permanent tables with the key difference that they do not have a fail safe period. This means transient tables are specifically designed for transitory data that needs to be maintained beyond each session in contrast to temporary tables, but does not need the same level of data protection and recovery provided by permanent tables. Now you can put transient tables kind of a medium between permanent and temporary. Permanent are there in your database till they're dropped with high level of data protection and recovery. Temporary tables are only till your session is alive. So transient comes in between temporary and permanent where it does not have the data protection or recovery like the permanent tables have, but these can be stored beyond the session, which can be terminated. And the fourth kind of table are the external tables. The external tables are read-only. Therefore, you cannot do any DML operations on them. However, external tables can be used for query and join operations. Views can be created against external tables as well. Now querying data stored external to the database is likely to slow your query processing because these are not your native database tables. So these are the different types of tables within Snowflake. The mechanism of how these are created, the syntaxes are a little different. We'll talk about that in the future lectures.